Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching C++ Peanuts video series on C++ and this video is about object oriented programming in C++ especially because if you are a C++ developer you should know what is this rule of 3 and rule of 5. They are pretty old rules but if somebody tells you that okay this rule of 3 or rule of 5 doesn't apply or it does apply then you should be knowing that right? This video is sponsored by Dev C++, a fast, portable, simple and free C and C++ IDE and code editor for Windows. Dev C++ uses MingW GCC as its compiler and it can also be used in combination with Sigwin or any other GCC based compiler. Dev C++ have low memory footprint because it is native Windows application and does not use Electron. And it is immensely popular due to its light footprint yet giving you all the features you need not to mention that it's free. So download the latest release for free by clicking the link in the description field. Like what he or she is trying to tell you. So first this rule of 3 came and this is for before C++ 11. Okay, so this rule was holding good before C++ 11 but after that this rule applies. Okay, so I just said that C++ 11 afterwards will have rule of 5 but what are all these we'll see that. If you create a class and you see that you need a destructor then rule of 3 tells that if you feel that you need a destructor then you need these two also and if you need copy constructor then you need this one and this one and if you need copy assignment operator then you need both of this meaning if you feel that you need either of these functions special functions in your class then you need all of these three like 99.99% of the time so always create the whole package like don't miss out anything and I'm sure you should be knowing what is like copy constructor and copy assignment operator and after C++ 11 we have these two new special functions added in C++ which is about move semantics like you have move constructor and move assignment operator which I haven't talked about in my videos I'll come with these videos pretty soon don't worry now after C++ 11 the idea is same if you are going to create any of these functions in your class then you probably need all of these five so um, for example why you need destructor you need destructor so that I mean compiler give you all of these five functions right in built you don't have to write them if you don't want and if you're writing these things meaning you are overriding the compilers given functions and you will override that in some circumstances and one of them could be if you're using a pointer in your class and when your object is destroyed meaning deleted you want that pointer to be deleted what I mean is class A so we have this class A and B pointer so this you want to delete when you are deleting the object of A right so in this structure you will free or delete all these things correct now if you are having pointer then you must consider having copy constructor because if you are not having copy constructor and if you are using the compiler given copy constructor then it will have a shallow copy and I have a video for that what is shallow copy and deep copy so if you don't want shallow copy you have to override the copy constructor and same reason for assignment operator and these two are like very special cases it actually takes your object from some temporary location to some actual location so that you can get the address and stuff like that but let's not talk about these two uh, now we'll have a separate video for these two functions so to sum this video I would say if you are creating okay let's concentrate on this one because I don't think uh, nowadays people use uh, this uh, rule of three because C++ 11 is like uh, pretty common nowadays so you always have to use this rule of five so the take home advice is if you think you need a destructor then you should consider thinking about these four or if you think you need either of these you should think like do I need others also then you create them and rule of five says that if you create one of them you just blindly create others it's just the rule because it's it's, it's a rule right yeah so it's just a stopper dude stop 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 think and yeah it's called rule of big five and this is called uh, rule of big three also so enough theory let's sum this up see you in the next videos bye bye